Okay, so today, super horse training with Hoss, or otherwise known here at the ranch as Hossum, because he's pretty awesome. Uh, we're gonna go over bridling, and I'm just gonna walk you through the steps that I use in teaching horses and getting them introduced to the bridle, even if they already had it from somebody else. I just go through my steps so that I know that the horse knows what I'm asking for. And then how do we use the science behind the horse's brain just in, in bridling, right? I mean, we want to use the science in everything that we do. So I'll get into the science, but first let's talk about one of the first steps. So the first thing I want to make sure that Haas here can handle is first introduction to any horse that I give in bridling. So I'm going to come and hang this on their ear right here. Because if I got problems with this, we're not going to go forward with the next steps. So you take the time that it takes to teach. You stay here until this is good, right? So if you got head shy issues or ear issues, you're going to back up, slow down, you're going to handle that. We've already got that handled with Haas. So Haas is going to be a great demonstration. So we've already gone through this. He was a little concerned about the bit when we first got in here, but he's doing fantastic. So I go here first. Then I want to be able to reach underneath and grab my bit and hold it right here. And I want to be able to move this around his face. I want him to be okay with this. If he's not okay with this, we stop. We take the time it takes to teach. Because if we can't do this, then we're gonna have problems with every step beyond this, right? One step at a time, get your horse comfortable. So we wanna make sure that we can move stuff around Haas's head, that he's okay with that. All right, now, we'll see if the science will kick in here and we're just gonna let Haas down regulate just a little bit and have him lick and chew. Just take a big breath and kind of relax just a touch. And that's him giving me the green light that we're okay to keep on going. And there it is right there. So what's happening scientifically? What's going on chemically in his mind? So me just applying, putting the halt, the, the head stall up here, and then adding this movement around here in his sensory field, remember? Or you're gonna learn at the horse science seminar, the horses are sensory creatures. They sense things in their field around them. That created just enough tension or a little bit of stress the chemical for that that goes into the brain is called cortisol. So when I introduced him to this, I give him a little shot of cortisol. Then after the cortisol, I give him the, I provided the release. Haas has to seek relief. There's a difference between release and seeking relief. When do horses learn? On the release or the seeking of relief? Come to the seminar, we'll show you what's going on in their brain in between those two times. So I provided the release, he sought out the relief, got the dopamine, which reinforces the behavior, which reinforces the sensory field. He did nothing, he just stood still and was fine. All right, so now we'll go on to the next step. I'm gonna get this down here, get this around his muzzle. So what's, what's this on his muzzle right here? What are all of these? Did you see him, his nose kind of pucker back when I brought this around? Tried to touch that in there. These are called fibrisi. They're like fiber optic nerve ends. You don't shave these off. No. No. So, Haas feels with these fibrisi, they're nerve ends. He wants to know whether whatever I'm presenting to him is hot, cold, rough, smooth, alive, dead, wiggly, jiggly. He just wants to know what it is. Right? So I gotta give him that opportunity. So I'm gonna bring this around here. Get my hand in and I just gently want him to feel this. So right there he's checking it out. He's feeling that with the fibrisi. He wants to know, is that thing gonna bite me? Is it hot, cold, rough, sharp, smooth? Is it a prickly pear? He wants to know what it is. So I'm gonna give him that time. And again, there's a little bit of tension so we're just gonna wait and let him seek relief. See if he'll lick and chew. Each time he licks and chews or I give him that release, I want him building in his mind that pattern of what feels good. So when I give him the opportunity to seek relief and to get the dopamine, that feels good. I want him to do more of what feels good. So, all right, didn't get enough uh, 
of the dopamine release right there. He's curious about everything that's going on. Come here, bud. Come back to that again. Remember those fibrisi are super sensitive. So when you go manhandling yourself in here with your bit and pushing and getting in here, your horse is gonna feel that. They need to kind of down regulate from that and turn the sensitivity off enough that you can come in here and get the bit in place. Now I'm just gonna get this right here in between his teeth. And there he just opened his mouth. I'm gonna release my pressure and let him seek relief and get more dopamine. Right, so can you see that Haas is gonna get it in his head that as he comes closer to me and follows the feel of what I'm asking him, come over here, come down, open his mouth, get that dopamine and feel good. Then I get that in his mouth and what I'm not gonna do is let him swing his head over there and seek relief. Where do I want him to seek relief? Right here on my chest. Nice, easy, relaxed, calm, quiet, right here. Oh boy. Now I'm just gonna take that back out and let him seek his relief right here by me, nice and calm, staying with me. One of the pet peeves drives me bonkers is when you bridle up a horse and then they throw their head off to your right to get away and to get out from what you're doing to seek relief away from you. So I wanna start coaching Haas. It feels better with me. Relief is right over here with me. So we're gonna go back through those steps again. I'm good here. I'm good in his sensory field all the way around here. Come down here on the pipe lee side, let him have an introduction. Touch it onto his teeth. Ask it to all the way up in. Kind of fumbled the ball on that one, my fault. Give me another go, there you go, Haas, thank you. Then I want his head over here. Nice and relaxed with me. Get my reins on. Want his head over here with me. Haas is a quick one, you see how fast he got that out? Well, come over here with me. So I'm gonna wait for him to relax, come find where it feels good. Wait for him. Good boy, right there. Now I want him to stay right here with me. I'm gonna do the outside ear first, then come over and do the inside ear, and then fix his hair so he looks pretty for the camera. Don't leave your hair all mushed down there in that brow band. All right, then I want to adjust this. We're gonna loosen it up just a touch. See, I want his head staying right over here with me. I don't want him flipping his nose out there looking for relief. I want it right here by me. All right, so that's how you use the science in bridling your horse. You're going through a little bit of cortisol, which is the stress, a little bit of worry. Look for the dopamine release to where that feels good. The horse wants to be where he feels good. You learned a little bit about the fibrisi and what they do, that these are sensory items. They're not whiskers like on my face, right? They don't, maybe I can sense a little bit, but you don't want to cut those off. He needs them. That's how he tells how close things are around his muzzle because he can't see right there. He's got a feel right there. Learn what else these fibrisi do at the Horse Science Seminar. All right. That's it. Go do fun stuff. Get on your horse and ride. If you want to get your horse into super horse training, give me a holler. Let's do it. Call me. See you. Bye. We've got stuff to do.